Hello everybody and welcome back to Odin's Movie Blog. I am the critic who is a cynic and on today's episode I just wanted to cover a couple of things and then also give out a huge thank you at the very end of my video as well. So first let's talk again about the Star Wars box office for this weekend and so I read a report from this is the Hollywood Reporter which says that People are expecting this film, Solo, to make $60 million this weekend, which would be roughly a 40% drop. Now, if you saw one of my previous videos, you know that that is the generous drop that I gave to this film. Again, I think it's probably going to be closer to 50 or 60% drop, but most people are assuming around 40%, assuming it's going to make about $60 million this weekend worldwide. I think it's going to make a little less than that. I think it's going to make $59 million at max, but we'll see when those numbers come out. And remember that, we'll go back to my previous video if you want to see my reason behind this, that when we know the numbers for this weekend, we will have a very good idea about the minimum and maximum numbers that this film is actually going to end up making. Because in my research, I found out that most films make at minimum 50% of their total profit over the first two weeks when they open. So therefore, it's easy to do the math on that because all you need to do is multiply it by two and you get yourself a pretty good estimate about the max amount of money that a film is going to make and then you can just play with the numbers to get a minimum as well. And so I'll have an updated video after this weekend once we get those raw numbers in so that way we know pretty much with 90% accuracy, the range that this film is actually going to be in as far as what's the max that it can make and what's the minimum that it, that it can make. But I do want to also say that when it comes to this weekend, it's probably going to barely make $60 million, probably less than that, especially if it's closer to a 50 or 60% drop, which is what I think it's going to be. And so the other thing I want to talk about is the narrative that we have going on with the media. So this is something I've talked about before, saying that the media is now blaming Star Wars fatigue. Again, it's not Star Wars fatigue. It's the fact that we are tired of crappy films. We are tired of crappy movies of a crappy product. And it, this really goes back to the Scott Mendelson article. I know that so many people have already spent so much time on this article, but he is talking about how, oh, maybe it's because the, uh, the, the market's tired of having a white male lead. And then he goes off and lists all these movies, but then he does so by ignoring other properties where his argument just doesn't hold up. It does not matter who the lead is. It does not matter if the lead is white. It does not matter. Nothing about that matters. And most people going to see movies do not care about that. And again, I mentioned this in a previous video. Most people do not care what the race of the lead is or what the gender of the lead is. What we care about is, is it a good film that's worth spending my money on? Period. That is what we need to focus on. But this is the narrative that's being spun. But I wanted to say that how long is it going to be? Because we've already started to see this a little bit. But how long is it going to be for them to admit that there was indeed a fan backlash, that there was indeed this strong group of fans, of hardcore fans, who are tired of this agenda? And how fast is it going to be that they say, yes, there is this group, and most of them are racist and sexist? Again, we've seen that a little bit already, but I mean in mass publication. I mean like the Scott Mendelsons, like the Hollywood Reporter, actually putting out full-scale articles trying to break down and trying to nitpick certain things that people like uh, Jeremy at Geeks and Gamers or uh, World world-class BSers. I know, I know, I don't curse in my videos, and so <laughs> that's the reason why, but please go check out their channel because they're fantastic. Again, I don't take anything away from them, but I personally I just, I don't like cursing on my channel, so that's just me. Uh, that's the theology teacher in me. But <laughs> anyway, uh, but what we see, though, is that how long is it going to be for them to start nitpicking, to start taking things out of context to try and paint these people who are really at the charge of this in a negative light? I mean, we have been helped. Jeremy made a video on this earlier today about Jeremy Johns and how he has already started to show and acknowledge that there is indeed this anger and this frustration in the Star Wars community because remember The Last Jedi it broke the fandom and this is something that Jeremy Johns goes into it broke the fandom in such a way where now everything has become just so toxic and not just from people who are criticizing the film but also from people who are defending it too because their number one argument is oh well you don't like it because you're a racist you're a sexist etc and that is not a good argument to make because there's just nothing to back that up with. Are there certain people, are there maybe a minor, small amount of people in any group who might be extreme? Absolutely. And again, any single group, no matter what part of the, uh, no, no matter where you fall on the, you know, politically, wherever you fall ideologically, there's going to be extremes on every single side. But for the most part, you cannot tell me that the people who are boycotting this film, that the people 
who are buying tickets to other films, that the people who are speaking out against this, you cannot tell me that they are racist. You cannot tell me that they are sexist. Again, look to the actual videos. Look at the entire video. Don't just pick and choose things out of context because, guys, that's what I think is going to happen next. I think the next thing that's going to happen is we're going to have major media outlets that are going to say, yes, the movie failed because of this group but it's because they were a bunch of white nationalists or they're going to try and tie us in with the alt-right or something to that effect. They're basically going to try and attack our character. They're going to try and the attack the character of the people who are bringing in the most views, people like Jeremy, people at, like the people at World, World Class BSers, people like uh, Comic Book Pro Secrets. Again, that's the groups that they're going to start to attack, and we have to be ready for that. So we have to keep doing what we're doing. They have to keep doing what they're doing, but we have to be careful because, again, the next move for them, because keep in mind, this narrative has been shifting over and over and over again. It's been constantly changing. The next major shift is going to be that, is going to be trying to focus on the ideology of the people who are speaking out against it, and they are going to try and attack and basically delegitimize any single person that's spoken up against this project. And so that's something that I think we have to be ready for, and that's something that we have to be ready to be very active and vocal about saying, no, that's total crap. Everything that you've been saying is crap. It really is so simple. And I've been saying this a lot on Twitter when people have been posting articles and uh, these, you know, big news media guys have been trying to say, oh, this is, this is what's happening. No, it's very, very simple. This movie failed. Star Wars The Last Jedi did $700 million less than the previous film for one reason. It was not that great of a film. Again, the biggest thing that we want are good films. We don't want crap. We don't want political ideology to take the place of good narrative storytelling. And that's what we want. Again, we want good movies. And we are all from different races. We are all from different sexes. We are all from so many different ideological backgrounds. But we all want that same thing. And that's what most audiences want too. Again, the numbers bear fruit of that. Again, it doesn't matter who is in front. It doesn't matter what the race or sex of the person in front is. What matters is, was it a good film? And was it worth spending money on? Because unfortunately, we're seeing now that when it comes to Star Wars, that is not the case. All right, so now I wanted to move to the other thing that I wanted to do with this. And that is to give a huge thank you to Jeremy over, over at Geeks and Gamers. Uh, I was watching his live stream last night and he gave me a huge shout out. And so I want to thank you so much, Jeremy, if you're watching this. I want to thank you for that. Again, I love everything that you do. You've been such an inspiration to me. It was by watching your videos, watching your live streams that gave me the motivation to actually start doing this myself. And so I want to thank you so much for that. Keep doing what you're doing. And guys, if any of you for some reason don't watch him, I assume most of you do already watch him. But if you haven't, go check out the Geeks and Gamers channel. Go check out their website. They have a lot of great content. But also, make sure you check out Jeremy as well. His videos are fantastic. He has really been at the forefront of this movement. And it's really great to see him getting so much success. And all the people that he's been bringing in have been awesome too. So again, thank you so much, Jeremy. Thank you so much, everyone over at Geeks and Gamers. And I really hope to be able to continue this. And I really hope to be able to continue this conversation as well because I have really have appreciated that. And I really have appreciated the help that uh, Jeremy I've you know gone through private messages to ask for advice ask for help and he's been so gracious I know that he's been inundated with messages but he's been so gracious and he's been so helpful so I want to thank you so much once again for giving giving me that shout out last night it means so much to me and uh, I just wanted to say that so have a great day, guys. Again, do you like what I said? Uh, do you disagree with anything I said? Please let me comment below. Again, I always say this. I don't want just people who agree with me commenting. If you disagree with me, as long as you can give me a sustenant argument so that way we can go back and forth and have a conversation, that's what I want. I love engaging in conversations. I've said this in several videos talking about language. We have to be able to talk about these things, whether we agree or not. So please leave a comment so we can have a conversation. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. Hit that thumbs up button. Hit that subscribe as well. I would really greatly appreciate it. It would help me out a great deal. And please also share this if you like what you heard as well with, with your friends. Uh, so that's going to be it for me here today, guys. So have a great day. And as always, God bless.